This is the race committee. The wind sampling is complete and this race is live. Good luck. Despite having to wait a whole day to get racing underway, we we're about to also finish off the semi-finals and it's been a, a ripping finish to a Friday here in Barcelona. Race four, the last race in the semi-finals. Who goes there? Well, you just have to watch and find out. Breeze dropping a little bit surely from what we've seen before. So all boats now having to think about staying on the foils and executing the manoeuvre. Getting later in the day so that breeze will slowly die down. Yeah, and the sun's pretty low as well, isn't it? I mean, it's not far off 7 o'clock in the evening. Tricky to see what's going on. Yeah, the breeze is dropping off, and uh, the, the, the sun, because it's so low in the, um, you know, down to the, the west, is just making it a little bit hard to read the dying breeze on the water. Definitely time to get rid of the tinted visor. So if we have a, a quick look at the points before we get into this, Barcelona must win the race, and Great Britain needs to be fifth or worse if, if you're on that Spanish boat with Silvia Mass. You just have to send it. It's your only chance of survival. Well, we've certainly seen some crazy upsets in the previous races today that we've had, so anything can happen. It's all about executing this last race well, not getting yourself tangled up with your opponents. Who was the spoiler? Who was the spoiler? <laughs> Boats now setting up this uh, in the dying breeze. The Italians have looked rock solid today along with GBR. They'll be looking to uh, finish off with good results. Both those teams looking to be the finalists. As the breeze drops a little bit, the sail package needing to be powered up more. A lot more dirty air coming off the back of that. Dutch very early, gone high of the line. Squeeze just... And the British are slowing the boat down a little bit with time to kill. They'll be wanting to open up the gauge and the gap. Very, very tight at that pin end. Kiwi's probably not in a bad spot. Lots of boats over, Stephen. Oh, racing to go and four OCS is OCS, straight away. GBR, Italy, Netherlands, Sweden. Italy has a get behind penalty, the other three restart. Wow, that is, uh, that's big, South Team Barcelona. Sylvia Mass called it, just need to get off the line cleanly and other boats with a big penalty, so plenty going on. Restart, big, big penalty there for the four boats over the line early, particularly the British. Massive opportunity for the Spanish. Don't look back. <laughs> Keep it fast. Yeah. Take off the rear view mirror and throw it out the window. Just want to be looking forward in this race. That the Spanish Italy, team. you still have to eight metres to panel. Your penalty. Italy clear. Just have another look at this start. They were all early going back. So many boats nearly over, not wanting to slow down and get off the foils. The umpires, OCS, GBR, Italy, Netherlands, Sweden. Well, that's a great view, isn't it? You can really see the two boats just behind the line. Italians just over. I think that was half a metre over the line. Nothing in it. South Team Barcelona just struggling to keep the boat up to speed at the moment, getting caught potentially a little windward heel and a little too depowered on their sail package. Italians doing a really nice job just keeping the boat powered up. 
back down to a really low trimming angle there to keep the boat on the foils. It's breeze dying out. You know, this team is the best of the invited teams. Not much time in the water coming into this event. They have really shone. Might not always be the full package, but uh, been really impressive. So as we get ready to complete leg number one of four in the final race in the semi-finals of the Pooch Women's America's Cup, keep your eye on the flags as the Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli boat heads towards the dock gate to complete the opening leg. They have the green light above them. That means you're off to the final. To the position that Athena Pathway, Great Britain are in, they too still have the green light above them. So they could basically hold station for four legs like this. And those two boats will be competing in the inaugural Pooch Women's America's Cup final. But never say never. The one team that could hunt them down potentially is the Spanish. Italians just had an absolute blinder of a first beat surely after being OCS. I mean, wow, they really, really sail well. The British have also dug their way back into this race as well. So it's been very tricky as this breeze starts to drop away. That's a sign of a good team. Remember, they had to go right about start again. They were way off the pace. Look at them. And they're, they're back in the hunt and they've got the green light. That's, that's, a, that's good sailing. Meanwhile, there's a Top big mark. section here. The Netherlands have fallen off the foils as Sweden come ripping round ahead of them. Sweden taking the left-hand gate. It does seem to be still a bit of pressure down the right-hand side of the course on that downwind, but uh, the whole dynamic is changing. So at the top, the Netherlands are off the foils. We can see their speed watching off. But uh, out in the lead, it is Italy thus having an immaculate race. For four of these teams, this is their final race in an AC40, and it has been a giant campaign with a lot of expectation. But not for this team. They have looked so clean, so composed. It's been an impressive watch. They did a beautiful job on that first upwind, just really, really nicely locked in. Big high ride height, and sailed some beautiful angles all the way up that upwind. But Sail Team Barcelona haven't gone away. They've managed to get round that top gate, sail into some nice pressure. They've actually slipped their way back into second place. So sailing really well, the Spanish team doing everything they can to try and give themselves an opportunity to get into this match race final. The wind continues to uh, go to the right, so we're late in the afternoon. It is the changing condition now. Uh, they still have to be really careful in terms of the, the next lap with this dying late afternoon little push that we've had. Been lucky to get this off, but it's been brilliant sailing. The Italians have just jived as we look at the charging Spanish as they go into the jive. They need a clean one. This is the race committee. We are moving the windward gate, shortening to 0 0.75 nautical miles. Halfway almost completed by the majority of the fleet. Emirates Team New Zealand are steaming in behind Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli at the section coming. I need to keep it on the foils here, Team New Zealand. Oh, they've had a wobbly jive. The Spanish will sail straight inside and the Kiwis will be off the foils there. Meanwhile, Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli on the opposing mark goes round and up. Not over yet. I think the pathways Great Britain have dropped back into fifth position. No, they've just jumped back into fourth position. So they're sort of on the edge. This is the umpire penalty Spain relative New Zealand. 
it'll be a lose distance penalty. We want to see 75 metres BMG lost. Ouch. Ouch. That was a, uh, that was a, a difficult situation there. I'm not sure what the Spanish could have done there with Emirates Team New Zealand coming off the foils. Luna Rossa off the foil is getting so light. Well, this was at oh, the point. So close, Shirley. Those boundaries just intersecting by absolute millimetres there. And the Spanish there. Just getting round cleanly. Didn't actually affect anything Emirates Team New Zealand. It was an unforced error. They actually fell off the foils. And if they hadn't have fallen off the foils, their intersections would have easily separated. So just a little too close there from the Spanish. Such a shame for them. But they've washed their penalty off and they are still on the foils. So, well, Shirley, what did you say about uh, the Spain? They had to win to have a chance. Well, at the moment, they are leading. And if we can give you a little update on our live points ladder at the moment, at the moment, Athena Pathways, Great Britain, and Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli are sitting on 27 points. Spain on 24. Well, we're not used to seeing many errors from Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli, but difficult manoeuvre further down the tracks, left them off the foils, just about building enough pace to get going again. Boats starting to come off their foils. Big manoeuvre here, big tack for Sao Team Barcelona. Oh, beautiful job. Eight knots of breeze now on the track. Died a lot. The Kiwis off their foils now. Top four boats all still foiling. Swedes also executing a nice tack in those light air conditions. So, well, the team under the most threat right now is Luna Rossa. That's if Sal Team Barcelona were to finish this race in the number one position. Spanish team surely, I think, are on lay for that left turn where the Swedes will have to do another manoeuvre, which will cost them plenty in these light air conditions. Also, the British having to tack quite away. I've got the uh, Spanish team with a really, really big lead here. If they can keep the boat on the foils on this downwind. It's not enough for the Spanish just to win, though. GBR needs to be fifth or worse, so they need things to happen behind them. In a left shift now, 150. Nice. I tell you what, Mother Nature has come to play, hasn't she, when it mattered? Because she's taking us down to the to the last race again. And the Swedes go around in second position in the final race in this. Semi finals of the Hooch Women's America's Cup. There goes Athena Pathway, Great Britain. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful! It's a sticky hull in these bumpy conditions. While they're just doing 90 degrees true wind angle, that boundary will be absolutely ripping at Athena Pathway. They need to get the boat down to angle, keep the speed on. But just to take the uh, mathematics out of it, just look at the green bars above the team flag. So that will tell you, regardless of us, what we're saying, that means at this point in time, if the positions stay as they are, Athena Pathway, Great Britain, and Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli will advance to the final. But it, we've still got a leg to go, a bit of, well, let's say three quarters of a leg. The 
that's Italy just coming round the top mark in a little bit more pressure than the, the boats ahead of them. I just wonder if this has still got a little twist in it. Like, or are they just going to get over the line before this late afternoon breeze shuts down? Right now, the Spanish are in the lead, Sweden, and then Great Britain, Italy make up that top four. But the breeze is dying very, very quickly. It has been such a, a fast and furious, but great semi-final series. And you got to, whatever happens from here, a massive shout out to the Spanish, the first of the invited teams. They have really showcased their racing skills this afternoon. And they potentially will finish with a second win in four very quick fire races they will look back at race number two when they finished the, behind the fleet there's six that may have cost them a spot in the final that one race but it's like everything we've said one one moment one mistake it's costly but they have certainly flown the flag proudly for sale team barcelona they'll get win number two to finish off the semi-finals but they will miss out on the final by a mere three points Well, they did everything they could, Sail Team Barcelona, Shirley. Sweden come in, their best result of this semi-final series. A little bit too late, way too late for them. They were the form team in Group B. Just couldn't connect it in the semi-finals. Yeah, definitely feel like we didn't see the best of the Swedish challenge today. They'll be disappointed. And Athena pathway, Great Britain will just cruise over and finish this race in third position. Confident in the knowledge they are the first team across the line to go into the inaugural Pooch Women's America's Cup final this weekend. Well done. There'll be some relief on board. That was stressful. There you go. I was going to say, there'll be some relief on board for the pathway, and I think uh, the girls explaining that very, very accurately. I'll be very happy with that. And Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli, they will come home in fourth position in the final race of the evening. And it is the evening here in Barcelona, early evening. And they will be the second boat. They are the opponent of Athena Pathways Great Britain. What a final, a single match race final it is going to be. Crikey okay, dicks. Yeah, come on. This is Hannah Mills. Yeah, we're into the final. So it's another British boat into the big show, their big show. We've got Ineos Britannia starting the Louis Vuitton 37th America's Cup tomorrow against Emirates Team New Zealand. And this weekend, another British boat, a little AC40. Racing AC40 will be in a final as well. Yeah, today, it's really all about just making it through to that match race final. The breeze definitely dropping out, surely, later on this, uh, this afternoon. Three, two, one, we're down. Runners, Team New uh, the final team to be confirmed in the semi-finals at the when they shortened the qualification series in Group A because of the weather. Got home, sailed well to get in here in that last row. When you need to, right? When you need to be somewhere, you've got to deliver. They came home second in that, in that final race in Group A, and so they did what they needed to do. But again, uh, like the, about the other boats around them that aren't going to be in the final, just didn't quite deliver when it mattered. And, and that's, that's, that's racing. Certainly did a great job to get into this final, and uh, they really, really sailed well to make this final six, but it just hasn't quite fallen into place for the Kiwi team. But they would have definitely enjoyed the racing here today. Some fantastic racing to get four races in. Absolutely epic this afternoon. Three, go boy. Going down. And turning. Soaking up here. 
Emirates team, New Zealand cross the line. We say farewell to them and the Pooch Women's America's Cup, but uh, they'll be hanging around, I'm sure, to support the big boat, the AC-75. Well, it's been a, a tough day for this. So much talent on this boat and just so oh, little practice. And today, lining up with this quality of fleet was, was a tough ask. Imagine how much they've learned over this whole regatta, though. Uh, it would be mountains of, of knowledge to take back and go, well, we, we, we can compete. We made the semi-final, so, you know, we're not far off. They showed some really, really great stretches of performance throughout this series. Really difficult without a whole lot of time on these boats to, to stay consistent, but some really, really great racing, and they'll be uh, taking away a lot of fantastic experiences from this AC40 regatta, surely. Yeah, they've learned a ton, and they've certainly showed the world the potential they have, led by old deal Van Arnold. Gold medalist in Paris. She's done a great job of rallying her team. So with Yayo Team Dutch Sail crossing the line, the semi-finals are complete. Thank you, Amanda, for watching Women's Sailing. Pooch Women's America's Cup. Lovely message coming out of the boat as well. That is the 